Just came out and removed the uh, row covers and tarps off the fruit trees, trying to inspect them to see how much damage was done. And the uh, blooms are kind of looking a little yellow on the plums, but the bees are still working them. And it's not all blooms. Like you can see a real good example right there. You got, you know, kind of discolored and not. And kind of the same here, not discolored. So the bees are still working them over pretty good. Don't know if you can see them flying around. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. The ones that I thought would be hurt the most actually look pretty good. The uh, peach trees still have some blooms that haven't even opened yet. But I'm not seeing like indications that the blooms that haven't opened are damaged. So even though a lot of blooms are discolored, um, a lot of them haven't opened yet. Like this one right here you can tell is, let me see if I can get that to focus. That one is likely gone. But on the exact same tree, like that one is also likely gone. But you take like that one, it'll focus hasn't even opened up yet and there are several others over here that haven't opened up yet and it's pretty much that way with the whole entire peach tree so i think that maybe some of the blooms that were already open on the peaches got damaged but i think that the ones that wasn't open yet are going to be fine and while i'm on this subject that is actually why you don't prune a peach tree until after the blooms fall off <laughs> um, that's the least why I don't do them so uh, that's good the apple trees some of these I didn't cover simply because they wasn't going to fruit anyways they didn't have fruiting buds on them they're still too small um, and they look like they're still all right the one that did have fruiting blooms, the blooms themselves look, uh, they, they could look better, but not all of them opened up. So there is like, uh, let me find one here. Like this one here hadn't even opened up yet. So I think it's gonna be okay. Maybe some of these ones that had already started to open up um, might have got damaged. But on pretty much these four trees, not all of the blooms had opened up. So I think they're going to be okay too. Um, the raspberries, they're not hurt. They wasn't anywhere close to being in bloom. And the one that I think gets hurt the easiest is this cherry tree. And all of the blooms hadn't opened up on it yet. And I think that it's going to be fine too. So I was looking ahead for like the next 10 days. The lows are going to be like in the mid 40s. So I think we're going to be good at least for the next 10 days. Uh, another cherry tree is kind of too small for me to have worried about. I didn't even cover it up. Over here the gooseberries wasn't bloomed yet so they're okay. The raspberries are okay. The elderberries wasn't bloomed yet. They were just in leaf. They're all looking okay. Um, I went through and cleaned out my uh, blackberry row. Mostly because primal canes, they wasn't looking very good. And I just went ahead and cut them. Some of them, I didn't cut all of them, but some of them I cut to the ground. There's actually one that actually made it outside the fence. Dandelions are starting to bloom. That means dandelion jelly's coming up. The bees are out flying. First day it's been 50 degrees. And three, three or four days now, since whenever this cold snap started, they're doing okay. And uh, 
I did get a notice that my bee packages are going to be here probably the week of April 12th. The uh, persimmons hadn't bloomed yet or even come out of hibernation. And uh, I never really worried too much about the trees that were outside of this fenced-in perimeter. You know, I've got like 30... One, two, three, four, five, six. I got around 30 fruit trees within this perimeter. And then outside I got some more. And actually on down way back there in the corner is a bunch more pawpaws. Um, another persimmons. The deer got this persimmons. Still hadn't come out of hibernation yet. It was starting to show some signs. But they just seem to be a little bit slower than other trees. This is a crab apple. It's in leaf, but didn't have any blooms, so I wasn't too worried about it. Um, this crab apple up here, I'm not even sure if it even made it through winter, sadly. It's a profusion crab apple. I ended up cutting most of it off. And uh, I'm not seeing any sap running. So that's a bad sign. I did leave a few buds just in case it would snap out of it. By cutting off, I don't know, maybe three or four feet of the top. What I've done is I put all of its energy into this one limb. So if there's any life left in it. That's less nutrients it has to provide in its root system. And maybe it'll snap back. I've done that a time or two and it has worked for other trees that were looking pretty sad. And uh, of course this peach up here had already bloomed before that cold front hit. Kind of see some of the blooms up there. And I don't know if the fruit... If they were actually pollinated um, they could have been pollinated by the other peach trees over there I think this is self pollinating but we'll just have to wait and see to see if any of these blooms had fruit set um, the, the plant don't look too horribly bad so maybe maybe the fruit set will take on this um, it just so happened to be that it was pretty much done blooming before that cold spell hit so there's always a possibility that I kind of caught it at a weird time where it, the cold didn't affect it I never even covered it up but that's it I would take you down to the other part of the orchard or the other fruit trees but I've got some other stuff I want to get done first and I'll be down there later so maybe I'll remember to try to record that in the meantime I got a whole bunch of bee stuff I got to get done today whole bunch of goat stuff to get done today and a whole bunch of cleaning up to get done today so as always thanks for watching if you like this video like share if you have any questions leave a comment um, God bless you God bless your families God bless your homesteads